Hi guys, Yowie Chase. Uh, still out and about. Just um, top of Beachmont at the moment on Beachmont Road. Just about to roll down here. See who our whiffer and Yowie's about. Um, that'll be too loud if I put that down. I was just. Um, have you guys ever seen the um the sign? It's on, it's on the road towards Woodenbong as you go over the border, and it says Yowie's Cross here at night. Now, I've been looking for that sign for ages, but I always thought it was near Woodenbong or well, more closer to Woodenbong. But I haven't been able to find it. But the other day when I was coming back from my little trip, I actually seen it, and it, it's the sign that I must have seen years and years ago. I remember going. Oh, I don't know where we were going. But remember seeing this sign saying yeah we cross here anyway that it's funny because you know where I, if you watch my video of where I got bogged when I went to Mount Lindsay I come out of Mount Lindsay I, like when I walked down and I was talking about the fences and that and I drove down the road and I went into the um the track where I got bogged and I was trying to reverse out and then um I, <coughs> I um went through the creek come back out forwards well that's where that that's where that bloody yowie crossing is so i didn't even know that was there i only just seen it there the other day so i don't know i, I think that's weird as well seems like i keep going to places and it's there's always uh, something that happens man i don't know i could tell you it's about another story but Shoot or not, I don't know. But um, I'll tell you, it's, it's not bad. It's, just remember when um, Bait and Clay um, killed his wife or whatever? Well, me and my daughter that day, I said, let's go out there. I said, I reckon I can find it. I said, let's go out there. Let's have a look. So we went to where they lived, went past their house, found out where they lived and all that. Went past the house and then there was like, I don't know, there's like a big park down the road. There's all the SES people there and all sorts of stuff happening there. And um, we ended up at a place, I forget what it was called, it was some sort of dam, it was a real old dam, but I remember reading signs, something saying about gold there or something. I don't know what it was called, but I don't know, I think you could ride horses there. It wasn't a bad place. It's probably another good place to actually go to the Fialis kind of thing, eh? Anyway, we drove around there for a bit. And I think all the roads were dead ends out there. There was nowhere to go. So I hadn't... I don't really know that area that well. So, um... We just went for a drive. Now, I know you won't believe this, but it's true. And my daughter just brought it up today. We were at Arnie's house. She was just saying, oh, I remember that day, tell them that day when we went. And, and I'd, I've actually forgotten all about it. it was. Anyway, so what one ended up happening was we're driving around. And we we actually went over the bridge. It, it's, it's not the Colo Bridge. It's, I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, it's like a little bridge around that area anyway. Colo. Now, back then, you couldn't stop on the bridge, but I... I wanted to get out and check on the, uh, go down to the bridge and just check around there. I don't know why, but you couldn't stop there. Anyway, so I must have looked on Google Maps or something. But we went up the road and there was a street straight away that um, it took you like down a dead end street. Now down at the end of that dead end street was a um, a scow hall, which apparently he. I don't know, his grandfather started or whatever, or so fallen into the scouts. Anyway, then beside that was a dirt track, a dirt road to get down to that creek where I was trying to get down to. And yeah, I had a Commodore station wagon then. I mean, there's no way he was going to make it down there. Oh, I would make it down, but definitely wouldn't make it out. Anyway, my daughter didn't want to walk. I said, come, we'll go down. And I said, we'll go check this creek out. Anyway, she didn't want to. I didn't want to leave her in the car. She was only young. So 
but I never ended up bothering going down there, but it was only the, the day after or two days later that a kayaker went up that creek and found the body, you know? So I don't know, it was something, something took me there or I don't know. Lots of weird stuff like this happens to me. I don't know why. I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. Anyway, that's just another weird story. <laughs> I thought I'd just share it with you while I'm just rolling all down the hill here. And then all the other places that I've seen the rock up, something always happens. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, oh, so you know, just before when I finished that last video, I was just actually thinking of something. I don't know, it's anything special, but you know how, like, over to America, all these Hollywood stars and all that, they all come out when, you know, some fellow's supposed to have done whatever he's done to them, and, but no one, no one would say anything, but now everyone's coming here, you know what I mean, one after another, he's done something to all of them, and that's good, clean it up, I reckon, but what, it, it got me thinking, when I was talking about it just before then, it got me thinking, you know what, as soon as there's a Yowie found or a Bigfoot found, and it's actually proven that there is one, or they find one, do you know how many people are going to come forward and say they've seen one? I reckon that many people are going to come out and go, yeah, i seen one here on this day, I didn't want to talk about it. It just takes that one person, you know what I mean? So, that got me thinking that all the YouTube channels and all the Yowie forums, Bigfoot Foot forums, whatever. All you guys need to get together, right? Now this is nasty, right? But I think it'll work. We all need to get together and say, yes, we found the Bigfoot. Yes, we found the Yowie. They're real. We have now 100% proof. Anyway, it'll get onto the news and I don't know how you're gonna do that part of it, but just keep playing it. Yeah, no, we found one. It's true. They're real. We've got all the proof now we need. And then just watch the floodgates open. There'll be people everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see one. Oh, I've got one as a pet in my backyard. Oh, yeah, my dad used to keep one in the kids' cubby house. You know what I mean? There's just going to be stories everywhere. So, and yeah, that was one of my thoughts that I had before. Just something. Forward, now that if, I know you can't do it, but it'd be good if you could. But just remember that the day that someone comes forward, it's going to be the day that everybody's seen one. And hundred percent guarantee. And then all the ones that go, "Ah, oh, these are all idiots. These have all lost the plot." They'll be like, "No, I always knew they were out there." <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's going to happen, right? I could just say it. Anyway. It's all good. I suppose in a way, if if, um, if one got fouled tomorrow, I don't know if I'd keep doing this. It'd be no fun, would it? Or it might be. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Anyway, I, I didn't think it would take this long to find one. So it's really, um, I thought I'd have one found in a couple of months, so that's, but it's just not happening. Anyway, we're coming up to the spot again. I'll sit down here for a bit. I'll just keep it going until I get to the spot. Uh, so this is where I first thought it was. That's where the skid marks were. Then that very nice truck driver got in contact with me and said, no, mate, it happened just down the road a bit. So it happened around here. I really wish I went and did an interview with him now. But anyway, that's history. One day I might do one with him if he wants. But yeah. Where's the roads change? Oh, no. Huh? Oh yeah, it has changed a bit. You know, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit, guys. And... Last time I come here, I heard all these weird noises. So... It's a bit hard to hear today. Oh, because the ears are a bit blocked up. 
Anyway, that's got 10 minutes gone already. I can't believe it. God, I talk crap. Alright. <laughs> I can tell you another story. <laughs> it just made me think of another story where I work. You guys are going to love this one. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to sit here for a while. I'll learn this one. And, um, I've got my hands over the screen. I'll see you for a bit and I'll catch you on the next one. And if anybody, right, if you live in Wifferin, if you live in Canungra, if you live in Nomabar, Springbrook, Tambourine, uh, anywhere around here, any of those surrounding so anywhere, I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in Western Australia. If you hear of anything to do with Yowie's Bigfoot, Jundi D, hairy man, tall man, short man, big man, fat man, skinny man, I don't care what man. If he's a hairy little dude running around the bush, I want to hear about it. <laughs> Alright All right, guys, get in contact with me if he's here. Alright, cheers, cheers.